Hello everyone, it is Sarah here with Purple Angel Oracle. Hope you all are doing well. Um, I just wanted to touch on something real quick before I get into everything else. Yesterday when I was, you know, watching the premiere of my video that I pre-recorded and, and listening to it, um, when I was discussing the New Age stereotypes and the New Age movement, it, I, the way I worded it came off wrong to me. And I didn't realize that I had had said it that way. So I just, I really want to clarify something here, okay? Um, this is a new age. This is a new age movement. And and as humans, we, we put words to things and that's what this is, okay? We're entering a new age. We've already really entered it. We're just at the very beginning. Um, but I was in no way putting down this new age movement, this, everything that comes with it. All I was trying to do was say, um, if you don't resonate with yoga or, or, you know, certain things that I feel like a lot of individuals in this ascension process do, that's fine. You, this is an individual process. Okay. Yoga is beautiful. Meditation is beautiful. Crystals are beautiful. And I love all of those though. I don't have the patience for yoga, I, I just, I, I wish I did because it's, I love it. Um, and I think it's very beneficial. I think, you know, meditation is very, very beneficial. Once again, I, uh, sometimes I have a hard time meditating. Um, and I get my information from source other ways. Source will always find a way to give you the information you need. Um, but I was in no way putting those things down. Okay. Uh, crystals are very important. Um, I was just trying to get the point across that if you don't resonate with that, I, I feel like that's totally fine. I think that we are all different and we're supposed to be, okay? And the New Age movement, the only thing that it is hard for me sometimes is when it becomes a trend and that's it. And people aren't really grasping the depth and the um, individual process that comes along with it. Okay, but that's, you know, that's part of their life as well. That's part of their journey. Um, if that's something that's more of a trend to them, then I guess that's part of their journey as well. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify that because I, I was in no way putting that down because um, the forerunners that started this new age move are very important, important. I can't talk. Um, and we, we owe a lot to them. Okay, because they were the, the bridge, <laughs> they created that bridge for us. So in no way was I putting that down. Okay. And just wanted to clarify that. So, uh, moving on, I want to talk about yesterday. So after I posted my video, I don't even, I don't know what came over me. It was like an hour or two after, but for the rest of the day, I literally felt like I wanted to crawl out of my skin. I had anxiety. I was clenching my jaw again, um, almost like a really bad high, <laughs> just like intense. Like I just felt really a lot of energy, right? Wide awake and just, but just too much. It was like, yeah, I couldn't hardly stay in my skin and it was really uncomfortable. Um, I wanted to cry at times because I just, the intensity of it was just, intense <laughs> word of the day intense um I just wanted to know if anybody else was feeling that because I mean obviously Schumann you know on the Schumann resonance we're seeing a lot of activity continuous activity it was at 51 today and it's been continuously rising um that could definitely be reflecting you know the energies coming in um but yeah, but it, it's just strange because there's other times where, where Schumann's very high and I, I don't feel that anxiety and that, uh, that stress. I don't even know what that was. I just wanted to know if any of you felt that way or have in the, you know, recent past, um, and what your thoughts, what your thoughts were on that. Okay. I just want to get some insight. Um, okay, let's move on. So the number 17, <laughs> There's been a lot of talk of this number 17, as I'm sure you guys are all aware of. And, you know, that's, it's in my name, 117. 17 has always been a significant number to me. And I know for many of you it is as well. Um, but, 
yeah, there's there's a lot of people throwing that number around. I'm not going to mention names or anything like that. But bottom line is number 17 represents victory. It represents victory and it represents perfection. Okay. Um, it, it refers to the spiritual perfection in the first place when everything was created. Okay. And where we're returning to, that's what we're basically returning to. Um, but it's victory. Okay. And even in the Bible, um, it symbolizes overcoming the enemy, complete victory. Um, there's, yeah. And, and it says here, uh, let's see. What was I? Okay. I lost what I was reading, but bottom line. So 17 means victory and perfection. Okay. And so that's the significance of that number completion. That's, I mean, this is it. it it's confirming we are going to be victorious. And there's been a, a really strong message that's been coming across for me very just more recently that the major truths and and certain that it could be not so good truths, you know, are going to be revealed very soon. And I'm sure all of you are feeling that way as well. Okay, like, I'm talking truths that will shake and shift the planet. Um, and it's like this intense buildup is happening energetically and, and something's going to burst. And when I was thinking about that, it, I, it took me back to the vision I had of, of me with a sword piercing this black wall and put a crack in it and it was spidering until it finally just exploded, you know, just the whatever material it was, it was like rock or glass or what it just shot everywhere. Um, and it's like we're in that, that period right now of, of the cracks spidering from that one initial crack, that impact that we did a, as light workers that we made. And it's spidering all over like humanity as a whole. And you can see it reflected in humanity. You really can. Um, and it's that intense energetic buildup. It's spidering until that, that moment where it just bursts. Okay. And the light comes through you know, the light on <laughs> the lies, the darkness, there's just as, as a planet, um, I, I know we d light workers, we don't really like to, to get too deep into conspiracies and all these things, but I'm interested in it. I'm not going to lie. I research that and I watch my energy though. If it's bringing me into a lower vibration that I don't like being in, then I stop. It's not, but it's interesting to me. And I think it is important to be aware of what is going on, um, in your country or wherever you're at in the planet too, just the whole planet. Um, but I definitely feel like major <laughs> truths are, are going to be revealed and some already have. Okay. 2020 already has been a very intense year. Um, but gosh, what was I going to say? Yeah. Anyway, I've just been feeling this urgency, this intensity building and building and building. Okay. And I just, you know, I'd love to know if any of you have, have felt that as well. Um, it's like something's going to give soon. That's what it feels like. Um, so I've been feeling really in touch with my Cherokee ancestors. And for those of you who don't know, I, I do have Cherokee Indian in me. So, you know, I've just been feeling um, really connected to, to just the native spirit, the native ancestors here. <laughs> so I called upon my Native American ancestors and pulled some cards from my native spirit deck. Okay. And the first one I got out was the circle of life. Um, yes, just like Lion King. It says all things are possible. Stand in your center and be open. The four winds are bringing your dreams to fruition. Embrace and accept where you are in the great circle of life. Bounty and abundance are flowing to you. Um, the circle of life called the medicine wheel in native American traditions symbolizes a cosmology that honors all the circles of life. Those in Western cultures tend to see life as linear. However, those in indigenous cultures see all life as a circle. When this card chooses you, it's time to honor and cherish all aspects of the great circle. 
Our, all parts of the journey have beauty and grace. There's beauty in the rising sun, just as there is in the setting sun. To only revel in the rising sun and demean times of endings depletes your energy. Choose what is, and you become master of the universe, or at least, or at least of your own personal universe. Beautiful. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's basically they're telling us, you know, cherish everything the planet has to offer. Okay, and that that once again, <laughs> going back to the the darkness and the light. Okay, we need both of those. Cherish both of those. You can't see the light without the darkness. The the light reveals itself in the darkness. Okay. Um, and if you're going through challenges in your life, try to see the beauty that's in it, that's coming from it. Okay. And that's, that's basically what I was picking up from that. And, and I'm, you know, we all struggle. We all go through ups and downs in our 3d reality as well. There's, you know, we can't escape it yet. There's, it's, <laughs> it's still here. It's, a lot of it looks the same. Okay. But it's important to, to look at it from a higher perspective and your challenges are going to bring you better clarity and wisdom and understanding. Okay. Um, and then the next one out, now I have to find it, the tribal spirit dancer. Um, and I know the meanings to, cause the next, the one right next to that is freedom horse and they're actually very similar, uh, but I'll read you the if I can find it, tribal spirit dancer, card meaning, let go, say yes to life, be daring, dance to your heart's desire, unfurl your wings and fly, cast aside conventions and restrictions, tune into the rhythm of life, laugh, explore, go beyond your predictable behavior, sometimes life is messy and chaotic and that's okay, leave the dishes, <laughs> run outside in the sprinklers, you are on the planet to be free, you don't always need to meet the expectations of others. You're here to explore, expand, and step into your extraordinary self. Of course, there are times to live an ordinary life, but there are also times to joyously fling your arms to the heavens and dance. Choose life on your terms. Clear, clear out mental and emotional clutter. Move beyond those situations that you have outgrown. Don't accept the rules you have placed on yourself or that others have placed on you. This is your time. Don't delay listening to the rhythm of your heart and following your dreams. Absolutely. Okay. And what I thought about when I was reading that is when it says explore and, and go out and do, you know, picture, you know, the moment your higher self or, or you chose to incarnate here and, and why you did. Okay, not just for this ascension, but even the times before we, we chose to incarnate on this beautiful planet so we could enjoy it and explore it. Um, and because of the restrictions we place on ourselves and, and society has placed on us, we, we find that very difficult. I myself do as well. And when it said something about leaving the dishes, you know, I have OCD sometimes. There's dishes in the sink, you know, <laughs> they need to get done. <laughs> So that was a reminder for me as well that, you know, certain things don't need to, that they aren't that important. And what's more important is enjoying your time here. Okay. Yes, we're here for, for a mission and we're, we're doing that though. We're doing it naturally just by being our loving selves. Okay. Um, and I think that's, it's just a reminder. Yes, we're, we're doing our light work. We're ascending, but don't get so caught up in the ascension that you forget to enjoy this beautiful planet and what it has to offer. Because th this is why we came here was to enjoy, to taste things, to dance, to love one another. I mean, there's just so there's such a big list of things we could do here. But we restrict ourselves. We really do. And it's not intentionally. It's just um, limitations we put on ourselves due to uh, past experiences. Okay, but it's just a good reminder. So the next one, like I said, this next one is actually very similar. So the uh, need of spirits really wanted this point across. Okay, freedom horse. Let your spirit fly. Do not hold back. Break free and express yourself. Flaunt your stuff. Dance, laugh, explore, and go beyond predictable behavior. Get out of the rut. You don't need to fit the mold. Be daring. Fling your arms to the heavens in joy. The horse allowed the natives 
of the Americas and Mongolia to travel great distances with ease. The horse also carried their supplies, which additionally granted freedom to those ancient peoples. This card chose you to remind you that you aren't here to be ordinary, but to step beyond limitations, <laughs> like I said, and self-imposed boundaries. Don't allow yourself to be trapped by convention or the expectations of others. You have the ability to choose your life on your terms. Replace the phrase, I should, with I could, but I choose not to at this time. Perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life, but you're certainly able to decide what meaning to give those situations. Select meanings that empower you, for this is the time to break free. Absolutely. Okay. This goes individually and for humanity. Like I said, these truths that are going to be coming out, we're breaking free. Okay. I feel like there's just this desire, this hunger within everybody on the planet right now for, for more for truth. It's like we've been in, you know, the same routine over and over. nothing's changing. All we see is sadness and we're sick of it. Everyone's sick of it. We want to be free to, to live our lives, to not have this negativity holding us back, to not have um, society telling us we're not good enough. This is, there's so many things that or we feel like hold us back when really it's all an illusion. Okay. And that's what we're, we're breaking through. That's the veil. That's it's everything. Okay. Um, but as an individual right now, it's a great reminder. Okay. You're yourself for a reason. And I'm going to take my own advice as well. <laughs> Cause I struggle with that too. We all do. Um, you're supposed to be who you are. You're supposed to look like you are. You chose this. You chose this for very specific reasons before you incarnated here because it was going to give you the lessons that you needed to learn to bring you right to this point where you are right now. So ex love yourself. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're handsome. You're whatever. Okay. You're incredible. You're courageous. Um, let's see. Spirit of water see what that one says I love this deck I actually someone gifted me this for Christmas okay spirit of water trust your intuition know that you're on the right path take time to nurture yourself allow your inner, <laughs> inner child free reign believe in your dreams don't stifle your emotions trust the messages they're giving you purify and cleanse yourself and your home Healing is on its way. Emotional healing energy is expanding within you. The spirit of water invites an emotional richness into your life. Communicate from your heart. Embrace your childlike wonder. This card also represents purification, cleansing, and healing. It reminds you to clean your personal space and your body. It also urges you to accept and embrace your emotions, all of them, even the ones that you don't usually like. Additionally, trust your hunches. Push off from the shore of safety and enter the flow of life. All is well. Beautiful. I love the part where it says, urges you to accept and embrace your emotions. All of them. There you go. Okay. Um, the battle, if there is a battle, it's truly just within every one of us. Because we're constantly trying to push these negative emotions out, these negative feelings. Um and like I said, with, with this circle of life, you know, embrace it all. It's all here for a reason. It's teaching you something. Um, if you're going to seek, seek into why that feeling is there within you. What, what is it trying to reveal to you? What lesson can you learn from it so it doesn't keep resurfacing, right? Um, and don't forget the dreams you had as a child, the, the freedom you felt as a child, there's nothing like when we were children, right? It was the most beautiful time. That sense of wonder. That's what we're talking about here. That's what the Indians are trying to tell us right now. <laughs> Tap back into that, you know, explore, be excited about the planet, be excited for what's to come. Um, don't trap yourself in this ball, this box, uh, break out, explore, share your ideas, share your insights. You're free. And, you know, the only, if you feel like someone's, you know, 
putting you down or doesn't accept you for who you are, keep in mind, um, they're just projecting. They're projecting themselves. And my counselor, I mean, I knew that, but my counselor even told me that. Everyone always is just projecting how they feel. That's as simple as that. How they feel about themselves. Okay. And that's actually very freeing in itself. Because then you realize, well, that's not even my problem then. I'm free. I, I love who I am. So that was the message. And I didn't realize how in sync all of those were until I just read all that and put that together. That's beautiful. Thank you, my Cherokee ancestors. That was a lovely message. Um, that's about it for tonight, everybody. I, I really just love you all. Stay strong. Hang in there. <laughs> we're doing this. We're doing it together. And it's going to be beautiful. This, this year alone, I definitely feel like, like I said, is it's already been intense, but huge transformation. Okay. All right. I will talk to you soon. Bye.